We're in Algebra 2, 8.8, .8, and we're going to talk about a work problem strategy called logical reasoning. Now, this is the last video for Chapter 8, so sometimes a problem requires us to match two groups of things, given certain facts about them. And the strategy used logical reasoning helps organize the matching process. We can describe how to match two groups by using a table. We carefully record the information and make conclusions by ruling out possibilities. We're going to use the process of elimination. So keep in mind, when we don't have enough given information or when contradictory information is given, there may not be a unique solution, okay? So we're going to make sure we understand the problem. We're going to come up with a plan to solve it. Then we're going to solve it. Then we're going to check to make sure our answer makes sense, all right? So if you've ever done a logic puzzle, then you know exactly what we're going to be doing here. We've got a news service that released facts about four officials in an election, President, Vice President, Secretary General, and Chief of Staff. The last names of those elected were Oguri, Vasquez, Martin, and Gray. So which person was elected to which office? So we have some clues that we can use to figure this out. Oguri and the Vice President once shared the same office and are best friends. Gray and the Chief of Staff went on vacation together. Vasquez is the President's best source of information, but the President never consults with Gray. He doesn't consult with Gray. Martin will run for President for the first time in the next election. Oguri and Gray have never been friends and never shared an office, and Vasquez has always had an office of his own. So from these clues, we're going to be able to figure out who is in what office by using a table. And it's going to be a very simple logic puzzle, and we can solve this as a regular logic puzzle. We can use an X to eliminate an answer, so put an X in the box, and we'll use a dot to confirm an answer. We can solve unknown answers through the process of elimination. So the first clue we've got is that Oguri and the Vice President once shared the same office and are best friends. Well, if they once shared an office, then Oguri can't be the vice president. He shared the office with the vice president. So we've got president, vice president, secretary general, and chief of staff up here, and then we've got their names here. We know Oguri could not be the vice president because he shared the office with one. So we're going to put an X here, okay? Our second clue says that Gray and the chief of staff went on vacation together. So Gray cannot be the chief of staff because they went on vacation together. So for Gray, we put an X for Chief of Staff. See? The third clue says that Vasquez is the President's best source of information. Well, if he's the President's best source of information, he's not the President. So for Vasquez, we put an X for President. See? It also says the President doesn't consult with Gray. So Gray can't be the president because the president is not coming to him to consult. So we can put an X for Gray as president. He's not the president. See? Our next clue says Martin will run for president for the first time in the next election. So Martin can't be president because he's going to run for president for the first time in the next election. So we can put an X for Martin and president. And do you see what's happening through process of elimination? Who's the president? It's got to be Oguri, right? So we're going to put a black dot here because we know he is the president. All right, so we got one of them. So if he's the president, then he's not the secretary general, is he? So we can put an X there. And he's not the chief of staff, so we can put an X there. All right? So just through that information, we were able to put some other Xs. Okay, our next bit of information says that Oguri and Gray have never been friends and never shared an office. But it said that Oguri, the president, and the vice president were once friends and that they shared an office. So Gray cannot be the vice president because they haven't been friends and didn't share an office. See? He's the president. The vice president shared an office with him. If Oguri and Gray have never been friends and never shared an office, then Gray can't be the vice president. So under Gray, we can put an X for vice president, which means through process of elimination, the only box that's open for Gray is secretary general. See that? 
He's got to be the Secretary General because he hasn't any other choices, see? And if the Secretary General is gray, then it's not Vasquez and it's not Martin, see? So we got rid of those because it had to be that one. Our last clue says Vasquez has always had an office of his own. Well, then he can't be vice president because he's always had an office of his own and Oguri shared one with the vice president. So Vasquez can't be the vice president. He's never shared. So we can put an X for Vasquez and vice president. Okay? There's only one thing that Vasquez can be, and that's chief of staff. That's the only box that's open. So he's got to be chief of staff. So we could put a dot there. And if he's chief of staff, then Martin's not chief of staff. He is, right? So we can put an X here. So that tells us that Martin has got to be the vice president. See? Through process of elimination. So what we end up with is Oguri is the president, Martin is the vice president, Gray is the secretary general, and Vasquez is the chief of staff. See? Wasn't that fun? It's using logic. If it can't be this thing, it's got to be that thing. And if that doesn't work, then we try canceling out the other ones to see if it could be that one. See? Now, if you like doing logic puzzles, you can actually go online and get logic puzzles. There's a really great site at printable-puzzles.com and you can print up all kinds of puzzles. They have hundreds of them. You can also type in blank logic grid and for images you'll see a bunch of blank logic grids that you could just print out to solve some of your own logic problems. All right? I think they're a lot of fun and they actually help you think and teach you to think and problem solve and they help you in math, all right? So we're going to move on to our next chapter, chapter 9, which is all about quadratic functions. And I hope I'll see you there. Our next video is 9.1a, and we're going to talk about symmetry with respect to axes. Okay, that's plural. I'm going to add this to the Algebra 2 playlist. Back in Algebra 1 in chapter 4, 4.6, we talked about logical reasoning and inequalities. And I'll have a link to any previous videos for Chapter 8 that might help you, okay? Have a great day, and I'll see you. Bye.